What's up guys, it's all about Mike 18 here. Guys, I have a movie news update video uh, for you. And no, it is not Transformers 4. Um, that's what I've been mostly covering on my video, on my channel, excuse me. It's Transformers 4 updates, because that is my most highly anticipated movie of the year. Uh, of uh, Over the next few years, excuse me, because that's coming out in 2014. In this video, I have five Marvel movie logos and four Marvel movie release dates. Uh, to tell you about in this video um, that have all been revealed to us at San Diego, at San Diego Comic Con. Um, now, one of these movies, which is the one right in front of me, is Iron Man 3. We already knew about his release date. We knew it was coming in May of 2013. Um, but uh, I still have to include it in this video because they did give us the logo at San, Di at San Diego Comic Con for Iron Man 3. So, guys. Uh, like I said, the first one that I have to show you is Iron Man 3. Right, here is the logo for Iron Man 3. Uh, the release date for Iron Man 3, if you guys didn't know this, is May 3rd, 2013. Um, so it's literally, that's not too far away. Um, uh, which is fine. Uh, I can't wait to go see Iron Man 3. Um, I am a big fan of the Iron Man franchise. I loved the first Iron Man. I thought it was great. Uh, the second Iron Man... I really enjoyed it. I really can't think of any problems I had with it. Um, I thought it was really, really good. People had mixed feelings about that one, but I still thought it was good. Um, and as for Iron Man 3, I can't wait to see what they do with the characters, with the story, um, what new villain we're going to get. But I think it's the Mandarin is one of the villains we're going to get, uh, even though I've never really heard of the Mandarin too much because I haven't read the comics. Uh, but I can't wait to go see Iron Man 3. Um, this movie just, it is now, it is probably my second most highly anticipated movie. Um, and I, I'm a big, uh, Iron Man fan, you know, a big Tony Stark fan. I mean, I love Tony Stark in not only the first two Iron Mans, but also in Iron Man, and, uh, the Avengers, excuse me. Um, and this is going to be the first Avengers-related, uh, movie that comes out after the Avengers did. So, we had the Avengers, which just came out this year in May. Now we're having Iron Man 3 literally coming out one year later, um, in May of 2013. And this is, uh, I, I just can't wait for this one. Um, now I have a movie to look forward to in 2013, in the summer of 2013, I should say. And, um, uh, I really like this logo. I really do. I like the red in the title of Iron Man 3. But, um... Anyway, guys, next movie I have to talk about, which was also revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, is the logo and release date for Thor 2, Thor The Dark World. Um, now, I have to talk about this logo, um, this uh, this title for Thor 2. I'm really not a big fan of it, to be honest. I The first time I saw it, I actually I got kind of let down, because I really I'm, I don't like how it sounds, like Thor The Dark World. I think they really could have thought of a better title, um, but I'm, uh, nevertheless, I'm still going to go see this movie, of course, how could I not go see Thor 2, I mean, I loved the first Thor, um, I loved seeing the character Thor in the Avengers, um, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with him in Thor The Dark World, now, as you can see on this logo, this logo poster, they have given us the release date for Thor 2, and it is November 8th, 2013, so that's good news for us, the release date, uh, in one way, I like the release date for Thor 2, and in another way, I don't like the release date for Thor 2. The way I like it is that we're getting two Marvel movies in November of 2013, and that is, and, and uh, the year 2013, excuse me, and that is Iron Man 3 and Thor 2. Um, however, I don't like the month they picked for Thor 2. I would have loved for it to be in maybe August or July. I mean, they couldn't, they obviously couldn't give us Thor 2 in May because Iron Man 3 is coming out in May of 2013, so no, I, I understand that, but I would have rather this been a summer movie than, you know, giving it to us, you know, just a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, I mean, eh, I'll live with that release date, you know, I'll get over it after a while, but still, I would have loved for it to have been uh, given to us, the movie to be, to have been given uh, to us in either August or July, even though that Iron Man 3 would have just been probably coming out of theaters around that time. But, um, still, I will go see Thor The Dark World. It is the sequel to Thor. I can't wait for it, uh, even though I'm not a big fan of the title and of the release date. But still, um, I will go see it because it is a, a Marvel movie and I'm a big Marvel fan. Uh, anyway, guys, next movie is my second most highly anticipated movie out of these five. 
um, after Iron Man 3, and that is Captain America 2. Um, I loved the first Captain America. I thought it was great. I liked it more than Iron Man 2, and sometimes I, at some, uh, sometimes I like it a little bit more than Iron Man 1. I mean, I really liked the story of it. I, I loved, uh, the character Captain America. I loved Steve Rogers. I mean, I really liked Captain America the First Avenger. Now, we have Captain America 2, and they have given us a, a title for it, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Now, I actually like this title for Captain America. I think it's cool. Um, now, um... The, t the Winter Soldier, I don't know if that's a character in the Captain America universe, um, it might be, I don't know guys, because I haven't read the comics of Captain America, um, I don't know if the Winter Soldier will be Captain America himself, I don't know guys, I'm sorry if, um, I don't know who that is, um, I haven't read the comics, so, uh, you know, I have an excuse, um, but I do have to, you know, do some, I want to, like, research who the Winter Soldier is, if it is a character, or if it, or is it just Captain America himself, but, um, I can't wait to go see this movie. I like how this logo poster looks. And the release date for it has been revealed. It is April 4th, 2014. So, uh, again, the only bad thing about this movie so far is the release date. I don't like the release date for this movie either. Um, April of 2014? Uh, why couldn't you just give it to us in May? Um, uh, why don't you, wouldn't you just push it back a month, uh, for May? A May release. Um, because that's close to the summer. I like summer movies. Um, but unfortunately, Captain America Winter Soldier, we're getting it in, uh, April, April 4th, 2014. And, um, still, of course, I'm gonna go see this movie. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess you can look on the bright side. Sorry for that noise outside, guys. That this movie, um, it, it's, it's actually better than having a May release date. I was wrong, because you get the movie a month earlier than a May release date, because it's coming out in April. But still... I like summer movies, um, I think that Captain America Winter Soldier could have been released in the summer, um, I don't know, maybe, like, it's first, the first Captain America was, like, in July, but if you take a look at the next movie that I have for you, the next movie logo, you'll understand why they released it in April, and I understood it after I looked at this movie logo, that's, I'm gonna show you guys next, but anyway, as for Captain America the Winter Soldier, I definitely can't wait to go see this one, um, I know that they're gonna make this good, I can't wait to see um, Captain America back up on the big screen for another film. Anyway, guys, um, now, here's the next, uh, fourth movie I want to talk to you guys about is Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, take a look at this release date before I talk about this movie. It's August 1st, 2014. Now, now I understand why they couldn't give us Captain America, um, at the end of July. Because they can't, I, I, you just can't have two Marvel films opening too close to each other. I mean, it just, I don't know, it's just, it won't feel right if you have two Film, Marvel films opening so close to each other, I guess. Um, so now I understand why Marvel Studios has done that, why they put the release date so far away from each other, and why Captain America is actually in April, not in the summer. Um, but Guardians of the Galaxy, I have never heard of this before in my life, to be honest. I haven't read the comic, as it says in the poster, based on the Marvel comic book. Um, and if this... Um, it's to be a movie franchise. This is obviously the first in the film, I believe. Um, but I'm going to go see it because it's a Marvel film. I've really been uh, enjoying the Marvel films ever since we got, you know, like, you know, the Spider-Mans. And then we got the Avengers movie franchise. And uh, I'm definitely going to go see this. You know, I'm going to give it a try, even though I've never heard of it before. Uh, because I'm a big uh, Marvel fan, you know. Um, and I want to do some, I want to research this, um, this comic book, Guardians of the Galaxy. I want to look more into it. I haven't done it yet, but I will, because I want to know more about it before I go into theaters. But this isn't coming out for another two years, which is fine. Um, so Guardians of the Galaxy, August 1st, 2014. And the last movie I have to tell you guys about in this video is Ant-Man. Now, Ant-Man, unfortunately, has no release date, um, and I have no clue about this movie, or about this character, um, like I should say, because I haven't read the comics of Ant-Man. However, I have heard of him before. I have heard the name Ant-Man, and I actually think Ant-Man is an Avenger, because um, I was looking at this uh, movie phone article, and it was talking about how Ant-Man could have been in the Avengers, because he's an Avenger, so, um, but I wouldn't know that, guys, I haven't read the comics, again, I'm sorry, but I wasn't born when the comics came out, so I obviously haven't read them, so I know nothing about Ant-Man, or nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy, and anything I know about Iron Man, 
Captain America or Thor, the new movies that are coming out, is from, my knowledge comes from the movies. I don't know anything about the comics, which is very unfortunate for me. I mean, believe me, I would like to know more about these characters uh, through the comics. But anyway, I will go see Ant-Man, especially since I know he's an Avenger. And this sets up a possible, like, lots of questions are arising because of this movie has been revealed. My biggest question for this character, the Ant-Man, will Ant-Man appear in the Avengers 2, which obviously will come out... Uh, in either 2015 or 2016, because um, Ant-Man, and the release date hasn't been revealed for this, unfortunately, but Ant-Man will probably come out uh, sometime before, um, the, obviously the Avengers 2 comes out probably, because um, they haven't given us an Avengers 2 release date yet, or they haven't even revealed that they're making Avengers 2 yet, but um, Ant-Man will probably come out sometime in early 2015, or mid-2015, and I think Avengers will come out in uh, either late 2015, the summer of 2015, or if not, then the summer of 2016, which is when I actually think Avengers 2 will come out, is 2016. But anyway, guys, those are the five movie logos and release dates, except for Ant-Man, no release date for it yet, which is okay, we'll get it soon, um, that have been revealed at San Diego Comic Con. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me just show you them all one more time. There's Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, and last but not least, Ant-Man. Now guys, what I want you to do in the comments, um, let me know. Uh, for Iron Man 3, for Thor The Dark World, for Captain America The Winter Soldier, I want to know um, your thoughts on this question. When will these three movies, when will the setting be for these three movies? What will it be? Will it be... Before the Avengers or after the Avengers? Obviously, I don't think that has been revealed yet. I have to look that up online. But um, I don't know when it will be. I would like to think that they're all going to take place after the Avengers. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about that. And also, if you can, if you want to, let me know which is your most highly anticipated movie out of these five Marvel movies that have been released. Uh, me personally, like I said, it is Iron Man 3 and Captain America the Winter Soldier. And if I had to pick a third one, it would obviously be Thor the Dark World. So guys, um, let me know, like I said in the comments, when will the, these, uh, the first three that I mentioned, Iron Man 3, Thor 2, and Captain America 2, when will they take place before or after the Avengers? And um, what do you guys think of these other two movies that have come out, uh, Ant-Man and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? What do you think of their release dates? Um, well, Ant-Man doesn't have one, but what do you think of, uh, these movies that are coming out? Um, and, um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Um, stay tuned, guys, all my followers. I have lots more, uh, videos coming soon. I have the Dark Knight movie review, uh, coming next week. I have DVD reviews and unboxings coming soon. And I also have, um, a few other, uh, cool videos that are coming soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, bye.